Welcome to week 38. Uh, Sam's just come back from a rest because he had the whole of week 37 off. Um, we just got a few clips in this video from the Thursday and the Friday training that happened this week. Yeah, it's quite samey the training we did here. Lots of um, practicing my open up and in a sort of point, point system. So what I was doing here uh, for the next couple of videos as well was um, just trying to get my open up on the table. So what's happening here is Ben's either serving uh, long or short. If he's serving short, I'm uh, sort of pushing it back to him. He's opening up and I've got to block it on the table. If he's pushing it long, I've got to open up. So it's quite a difficult drill as Ben has all the power there. He's making the decision before doing the... That was quite a good rally. So, mm -hmm. so you can hear me counting there, and I think what we were trying to do is get 10 in a row on. Right. 10 in a row the first shot, either the block yeah. or the opener. Yeah. Because uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was very bad at blocking like spinny open ups. I'm just doing this, it's, it's improved massively over, over a week. So this is a similar, but the other way around. So here I'm doing serving, I'm serving short. Uh, Ben's pushing long and I've got to open up. And if I'm serving long, Ben's opening up and I've got to block it on the table. So again, I'm counting. So I'm really only focusing on the on the first shot here, which is the either the open up or the block. And generally now, we've got to the point where I get most of my open ups on. And it's, it's starting to get unusual when I miss uh, miss one of those open ups, which is a good situation. Which means when I come to doing in games, there it's actually a viable tactic for me to open up. Whereas you know, as recent as a month ago, uh, I just my consistency wasn't good enough. Yeah. Such that when I was practicing my open up into games, I knew therefore I'd just be losing the game because mm. I'd, I'd miss enough. Whereas now, that's not really the case anymore. This is just doing powerful forehands into my block. Trying to get the weight transfer right. Yeah, so really um, a bit more movement. I find that I end up getting planted a bit too much. So this, what I was focused on here was moving and getting the weight transfer. Generally when I do, so the, the first two shots of that rally, I had good weight transfer and the third one, I didn't have good weight transfer and it went in the net. So Sam's upper body is going to the left, but his lower body is finishing going to the right. Then that's not particularly great for his weight transfer. Those were all quite good, like some good weight transfer. They were quite good as well. That's quite good. And you see there's a huge difference in power between one where you've got good weight transfer and a shot where there's not very good weight transfer. And you're just going to be off balance if you're... Weight transfer isn't right, right there. Like that, exactly. <laughs> Do you see how Sam's played a forehand, but his whole body's kind of like still travelling to the right when it should be moving back to the left with his shot? Mm. And I particularly struggle on these wide forehands where I've got to move, sort of plant my right foot, and then transfer onto the left foot. Now, what we we're doing in this video is I was playing with like a kind of 10 pound skill drop bat just so that it's a bit different for Sam. So it's not completely dead, but it's, mm. it's, it's pretty much like a dead bat. So the shots which Ben does on his lovely Tanergy rubbers, and I'm used to the, the heavy spin that he puts them on, and all he does them with this bat, this is not what I'm expecting, it's a bit slower. So it's just getting used to, just as many, much variation as possible is what we want. And that was pretty nice. So this clip is from uh, Finsbury on, on the Friday, and there's just some, some uh, you're playing yeah. matches with this guy? Right? Yeah, I'm playing matches. But generally, we're trying to go three or four times a week to different places just to try and get as much match practice as possible. Finsbury's uh, really quite a good one as it's all, you, you'll be on the table the whole time and there's enough people there that you get some good experience. And this guy looks Very relatively good. similar to you in his standards. Like his technique looked quite good, but he was making quite a few mistakes. Yeah, yeah, he gets, he does them some good open ups. He gets them on the table, but then he falls apart if you're able to block it back. 
uh, blocked it back and he just messed up the next shot. Yeah. Now, that, that's a very common point. And that's something I do as well. Yeah, because there's you going for an open up and you're just taking it maybe a bit too late. Mm -hmm. no. This is a game of who makes at least on false errors. Yeah. But that's the way to learn. Better at this type of game. There we go, I did my open up, he blocked it back and I put the fifth ball off the table. Yeah, so you're both okay at third balls, but you need a bit more work on fifth balls. Uh, same, yeah, same again. There we go, yeah. same again. <laughs> and that's really what we're, we're focusing a lot on this sort of you know, short backspin serve, um, a push, open up, and then a fifth ball kill. I think people that have been watching will be able to see a big difference in this match compared to some of the other stuff they've seen of you. Mm. Yeah, this match looks almost like practice in terms of the quality. Yeah. Whereas before, you, you, they would be totally different. Right, well that's everything for this week. Uh, week 39 will be coming up in about a week's time. Thanks a lot. See you later. And I've also uploaded a video of Sam playing me left-handed, so check that one out too.